rock and play at the same time. Leagues has 16 pies. I mean beats. I like Game Boy. Three other port characters prefer links. Buy links now. Get NFL game free. But enough about me. Let's talk about you. So this is the 30th anniversary of the uh, Atari Lynx, of course. And it is, you know, it is so cool to hear that so many of you are getting together. It's even so cool for me to hear all the stuff that's being shown, the displays, the various, you know, the, the hardware that people are developing, that, that there's this cloud of people that still love it so much. But I got to tell you, the part I love the most is that, uh, you know, the, the number of you are, who are actually developing demos that, uh, that are, are for a contest at, at this conference where you're, you're going to create new content for the Lynx and, and compete to be the best. And not only is that cool, but even better, I'm one of the judges. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you people are fantastic. I, I wish I could be there. Hello, City Ventures, and today we have a great, fabulous guest. May, basically, you know the maker of this, <laughs> one of the dads. And uh, it, okay, we we will have to start again because I don't know how to correctly pronounce your name. <laughs> ah, Michael, R J, Michael. Michael, just like Michael. Michael. Like Michael. Uh, in uh, Polish, by the way, it's Mitzal. Mitzal? Mitzal. Mitzal. It was originally. You, and how do you prefer? Uh, Michael is what, how everyone knows me. Uh, but my name I, I wonder. Like this. Yeah. Mitzal. Mikau. Mitzal. This, this, the, the C something in the middle is not a Polish char character. So. Oh, it's not. No. Did I do? Did I do it wrong? It's a, it used to be. Maybe I got it. It, back. it was made uh, meant to be chi. Yeah. Michal. 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 Okay. So basically, it's not uh, um, a tail be below, but uh, a short uh, line above. Okay. No, but it used to be some sort of tail below. That's what. That's. That's all I know. We have, there's no. We have, we have no, no Polish character. We have a lot of characters with tail, tails below, but not this one. Not this one. <laughs> okay. <I don't laughs> okay. Basically, two. We have a with tail, uh, which is pronounced as uh, on, and we have e with the tail, which is uh, pronounced as in Polish as l. Yep. Okay. But Michael, R R J Michael will work for you. Okay. R J Michael. Perfect. Okay, roll it. Okay, so hello, City Ventures. Uh, today we have great and fabulous guests for you. Uh, <laughs> perfect timing. <laughs> okay, we we I think we will uh, leave this yeah, as this is completely in the spirit with this party. Uh, enjoy the hello, food. Silly Ventures. Uh, and today we online have a, a great one of the great dads of this little console. Okay, I held this <laughs> upside down, <laughs> but uh, as you can see, we are already uh, happy and ready to watch some demos from uh, Silly Venture 2019, which uh, Erdem Michael promised to judge. <laughs> so, <laughs> so RJ, few words for our Silly Ventures, which are watching right now. Hello, Just before the big Ventures. screen. I wish I was there with you. I have to be here only virtually and not even even close to real time. I'm talking to you from the distant past. This is distant, RJ. <laughs> I'm so delighted to be part of this. I'm really looking forward to what we're about to experience here. And I'm delighted that so much energy is still being poured into all of this technology that we invented long time ago. And 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 we poured so much love and care and attention into it at the time when we were inventing this stuff. The thought that it's lasted this long and that people are still enthused by it, I can't tell you how happy and proud, how delighted it makes me to know that this is so. And 
And, and I was talking with KK just before this started about the idea of me going off and doing some uh, links development again myself, which I'd like to do some point in the very near future. I'd like to get out of my, uh, 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 you know, uh, links development hat and go back and do some links software development again. I've got a game in mind. And I'm thinking, you know, post Google, I might do a game company. And if I did, I would do this one game I have. And if I do this game, I'm going to do a cross-platform game that it'll run on everything. It'll run on Android. It's going to run on iOS. It's going to run on Amiga. It's going to run on the Lynx. I'm going to do a truly cross-platform game for this day and age. <laughs> Anyway, I'm glad to be here. Looking forward to seeing these demos, and uh, and uh, let's take it away. Okay, so you prefer to start with uh, top three games or top three demos? Whatever you want to do at this point. You know, I'm okay. I'm, we... I, I have I have no plan. The only thing I can tell you is that there's a lot of material out there, and I, I wished that I could have had time to go through. and well. look at everything because there's so much i got a lot of stuff you know i got a lot of stuff to do i couldn't look at it all i, I and so i'm hoping to that that we can look at some of the best of and and focus on it but i can say that i i i would not like to have the job to try to pick the best of because everything i looked at was spectacular <laughs> So at least feel free to share your comments, anything. Uh, you will be able to share your thoughts just as we are watching this. So Please. let's start, because I clearly see <laughs> that you are quite more into games. Let's start with the demos <laughs> to save the best for later, I think. Yeah, okay. So this is a demo from the Silly Venture. All the demos will be from the Silly Venture 2019. Top three of them. Presented it in not so random order. And let's start with the Bastion. Gosh, I love this stuff. <laughs> that makes me so happy. Hardy hard. Oh, I wish I was there at the party with you, watching this live with everyone. Look at how cool this is. Unbelievable. Look how good this is. Mm. Look left, look left. Uh, so cool. Wow, this is just amazing. Can you believe this? <laughs> well, you, you made this platform. 
Go to that, go to that. have reached the end <laughs> of this demo <laughs> so very cool what what do you know about this uh, this this demo? <laughs> i i don't know probably i already met and drink with the guys who made this but i'm not sure sure who made this exactly but i must meet with these people <laughs> this this demo uh, as far as I know, uh, it took third place, but it was my favorite because, uh, well, I programmed the platform and I know how hard it is to scale a single pixel to make a perfect triangle. <laughs> yeah, and you've and you, you've you've done links programming. You know what it takes to yes, do something exactly like a... that. Yes, exactly. My God, it's unbelievable. The... Yes, I am also amazed by the, this engine basically so but do you know is you maybe you probably don't know is this could i use this engine do are is this engine available to other people or is it a private i have no idea but we can <laughs> I, I, we can contact the guys and hey, at, ventures could i use this engine too i'd like to use this engine i'd like to play around with it Okay, and uh, I think if you guys are hearing this right now, by which you probably are, uh, feel free to contact RJ <laughs> <laughs> and let him f have some fun with it. I'd like to have some fun with it. So, we are going to start the next one. And this was th third place, so at least our fellow C ventures decided the next one was somewhat more enjoyable. And the second place. The second place, yes. I it's sort hard of... to imagine that we're going to do better than the one we just saw. Uh, well, it was Wait, my... before you start, before you start, give yeah. me just one minute, please. Just exactly. one minute. Exactly, okay. Good puppies. No, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right here. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Thank you. Okay, so uh, can we start with the next yes. one? Uh, I yes, sorted. Please. I sorted them last to first place just to uh, create suspense. <laughs> okay, so we're going with the next one from New Generation. Good start, good start. See, this is the stuff I never had a chance to play around with to do on the links. I'm so jealous that people have had a fun time doing wonderful artistic endeavors like this. Look how gorgeous, oh, look at how beautiful this is. Oh.
Remind me again, what's the resolution of this? <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember? I thought you no, would dream of these numbers already. Just kidding, just kidding. I'm just amazed at how good this art is. It's astonishing. But you, can, you have noticed the sound. So beautiful. And that was it. Oh, uh, do it again, please. Play it again. <laughs> uh, we have uh, four more to do. Uh, all right. Okay. okay. And uh, a few words. You have noticed that they were constantly streaming the music from the card. Yeah, that was, that's all. It's astonishing. The, the graphics were so beautiful. I, I've never had... You know, I, I haven't had enough exposure to what people were have really been able to do with the links. I've mostly just seen some of the more modern games. This stuff, this demo stuff, where you know, where where the point is to to test the system, to push it to its limits, to see what you can actually do with it. To be able to stream music like that, what did we just hear? How did they do that? <laughs> and with these amazing graphics on top of it. Puppies, shh. They are on, I'm on the air. They are also notice? enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see my puppy? Come here. Come here, you. What's he got? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. There's my puppy. Uh, oh! All right, that's enough. Yeah, that, that demo was definitely deserving to see a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> puppy thought that demo was good. <laughs> yeah, very very artistic and completely modern take take on the old school platform. <laughs> so amazing! So, is there are there um uh, categories for these? Are they all general submissions? Do you know? Uh, the categories are per platform. So this is category links them demo. That's it. There's, there's, uh, that's it. No, we, we don't have so much uh, uh, submissions to further uh, segment the uh, the competition. So basically, there there were two links categories: links demo and links game. And basically, we had a category for games and demos for each Atari platform on CD Venture. So a lot of stuff <laughs> for. I'd like to submit one. If I create a game, if I create some demo material, I'd like to submit it. I have some friends from uh, the demo scene in Finland that I've always wanted to do a project with. But uh, but somehow we'd have to anonymize it. We'd have to hide the fact <laughs> that it was us because I wouldn't want to, you know, I wouldn't want yeah. anyone to know in advance. I just want it to be a submission. But I'm afraid that everyone in the community knows each other so well that you couldn't get away with that. You couldn't. You know, you can you can try this. you can try. <laughs> <laughs> I would. Try, in in, in but... any case, feel welcome. You are always yeah, welcome on, sure in silly venture, <laughs> remotely on, <laughs> locally on, or with just part of your soul and code on the party place. <laughs> so you are that welcome. Your code is welcome also. <laughs> would be fun. I wonder if I could get a machine learning model to run on the links. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, that could be awesome too. Yeah. Okay, so can we start with the first place? Yes, please. As far as I know, this was first place, unless I completely messed something up. But in any case, don't feel obliged to follow our voting and make uh, your own mind about every single one. So, can we start? Yes, please. <laughs> oh, 
We got a long one there. Yay, look at that. Yay, very nice. <laughs> Lovely. Wow, that was cool. That was very nifty. Wow. Wow. Wow, real 3D. <laughs> real honest to God 3D, not the, the fake stuff that the links can do. Well done. My God, look at that. So, any thoughts? Yet another masterful piece. So beautiful. Even this, just a, everything about this, even the, just a little bit that we're looking at right now. Oh, I would love to see this code. I'd love to see how they're doing these things on the links. It was right. beautiful. Guys, you know, okay, and, and contact in, in, terms of, <laughs> in terms of the ones that I love, the the the, the well, I'm, I'm loving everything that I'm seeing here. But um, you know, this demo and and the previous one that you showed me, the one you said was second place. I don't know. I'd have a hard time picking between these two because this is gorgeous. But that one was really oh yay! Did you see that right at the end? Yay. Oh, what, what time is it? Oh, we got time to look at him again. Could, could you show me number two again? Uh, maybe we go through games because guys would like to show this in the invitation and uh, looks like uh, we're watching that we will have to make a, a separate uh, time slot for this. Uh, well, but you said, you, we said two hours, right? Two, yeah. Yeah, between us, no. yes, but but uh, uh, Gray was uh, going to play this uh, on the party invitation in, as one of the greetings videos, and maybe I don't know they are going to edit this and uh, show uh, entire sure. part later or something. Okay. 
Uh, okay, so if you were to pick your top three from the top three, <laughs> in, okay. You met my good friend KK? Wait, are you on this side or are you on this side? Uh, yes, the, uh, the first one was right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm not uh, sure if you're mirrored or something, but your uh, left is good one. It's pointing to me. Yeah, all that matters is is uh, what's showing up on the video. It doesn't yeah, matter what exactly, you Yeah, exactly, exactly. So <laughs> so I'm pointing this way <laughs> to you and uh, and I'm pointing this no, way. No, not this you. way. Not this way. No, not this way. This way. Okay, exactly. And yeah. <laughs> so nice to meet you. <laughs> Nice to meet you. <laughs> this is so fun. Mm. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> silly venture. Silly name, venture. name obliged. <laughs> silly venture, silly gain. All right. So, again, boy, that one would be tough because I like that second one a lot. But I, very, I like the first one a lot too. I'm glad I didn't have to, you know, really... Be, be the person that set them up in this order because boy I don't know which order I would have I would pick myself <laughs> it was uh, it was voting so it was easier no one had to pick anything oh, good. we just <laughs> summed up points and uh, this is what came out <laughs> but if you were to judge <sighs> I might put the second one in first place. <laughs> It's your it call. Was, it was so good. But I want to see him again. But I'll go look at him uh, uh, offline. I'll, I'll do it offline when we're not recording. We can, after we, we've done with all the stuff, we can go again and, and anything. If we have time, good. If, if we have time. Exactly. Okay. Uh, and before we run out of time. OK, so now we have three games to see. So what do you do, KK? <coughs> what do you do when you're not goofing around with retro hardware and stuff? <laughs> embedded programming. You do embedded programming for whom? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for a living. For for whom? For what company? <laughs> my own. Oh, my, you have my a, you, do your own, you have are, your own contacting business. Uh, we we are basically a small company making. Uh, controllers for pellet burners and boilers heating equipment nice and it's uh, your own company uh mine and my father basically i'm, yeah, yeah. His, I'm his contractor and he has uh, a small manufacturing basically uh, about 10 persons 10 people or so in your dad's company yeah and they are isn't that nice yeah, definitely. And you know how much this resembles uh, the retro programming? Basically, uh, one, once in a while, I, I get to see a new processor uh, or, uh, or, some, or something <laughs> like this and have to go to the data sheet and, <laughs> and stuff like this. <laughs> Program, flipping some, some bits to set on some kind of transmission or another hardware interface and, and, and stuff. And, and your language that you wrote for the link. Oh, you just. It, it dropped I, out. I, hang on the... I lost your video signal. OK, hang on. Everything just dropped. No problem. It's trying to come back. It's trying okay, to come it's, back. It's online. OK. Everything's and fine. so your programming language that you wrote for the links, when did you write that? Was that a recent thing or is that a long time ago? Uh, it was, it started developing, I don't know, six or seven years, but, but it wasn't for the links. It was for the processor family. Yeah, and ah, it's, ah, it started, ah. it started uh, for being for the Atari uh, 2600 because it's it was such an elegant design that it just drawn me to code for this you know uh, you, you know ta you take three chips and wire them together and have a console and add forth and as a cartridge and you have working machine so isn't that beautiful and and two are off the shelf 
basic one custom chip and quite low integrated i think <laughs> and 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 and, <laughs> and 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 it's playing it's quite hey, i just remember the story about the links i don't know if i've ever if it's been probably 20 30 years since i told this story i just remembered i'm going to interrupt you and tell this story as a speaking of tools and languages and the language that you're developing the um uh uh, when when Atari bought the Lynx, when Atari bought the Handy from Epix, the Handy at that time, its development environment was the Amiga. And uh, Atari then over time converted all of the development tools so they weren't Amiga based, but they were Atari based uh, because it was, you know, embarrassing to have to make developers get Amiga computers. <laughs> but the truth is, and they don't ever like to admit this, but the truth is that all of the original titles that were developed for Atari's Lynx were developed on Amiga hardware. <laughs> but <clears throat> you know, Atari, of... Atari fans are listening to this right now. <laughs> <laughs> and we had a lot of great tools, but one of the tools that got lost was, um, uh, they all got lost. We had a lot of great Amiga-based tools, but, well, um, uh, actually, they got the source code to HandyBug, and I don't know what they ended up doing for an audio debugger. I, I'd be curious to know what the state of the art is today for creating audio on the links, because we had this little little simple squeaker tool called HandyBug. And I'm sure people have gotten more sophisticated than that since then. But I'd like to see, I'd, I'd love to see what the state of the art is for audio development for for the uh, today's links. But um, uh, tools like HandyBug and, and uh, the original assembler, uh, HandyASM we called it, those are all, those were gone because they were Amiga based. And even though Atari got the source to HandyBug, and I don't know what they did that, they didn't get the source to HandyASM because the guy that developed it for us was a real stickler about stuff like that. And, and, and his great pride and joy from his assembler that he wrote for the links that he was so delighted with was that it was a single pass assembler, that it never had to do a double pass thing, that somehow it was this magnificent single pass assembler and he was so proud and so delighted with himself for having been able to create a single pass assembler that that in his opinion was a work of art until uh, the day that i said this thing is great but what flag do i set to get a listing he, he said a, a, a what you know a listing where i i get a listing and that what the symbols are how it gets you know, a listing and something I can print out on a printer. He said, oh, I, I never knew you wanted a listing. To create a listing, you'd need a two pass assembler. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't hire that guy to do any more tools for us. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay. Hi, <Sorry>. Atari fans. Hi, <laughs> <I>, Atari fans. <laughs> Amiga rules. <laughs> <laughs> we can we can talk about this later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but from now on, Amiga rules is going to be part of every answer I give. Amiga rules. <laughs> Okay, okay. Okay. I'm just Amiga rules and <laughs> Well, we well, the demo scene uh, has shrunk since the golden times quite a bit, so we are all friends right now. The Oh, we're the, all friends. The platform Yeah, but uh, uh, you know there were a serious uh, uh, platform battles in Poland in uh, 80s and 90s when uh, you know c computers hit the market and there was Atari and Commodore and 
Atari, Atari owners, uh, basically everybody said that their, their platform was best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I lived, I've been living through those wars since, you know, since the beginning. I was there from the very beginning of those wars and, and hear them every time I'm on, you know, some sort of social media or, or even talking with you here. I hear about those wars. And, the, and it was always, it never really hurt, you know, it never really hurt. It was always kind of fun to be part of them. And it never really hurt because I always knew that the Amiga was the superior piece of equipment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, isn't it in part uh, that you are kind of biased by the fact that you are making the Amiga? Me? <laughs> as far as Me? I can know. Biased? Me? Emotional? <laughs> well, you have already shown us how much you love the Atari Lynx. Uh, I do. I do. I love everything I've had a chance to be part of in, in my professional career. There's been very little junk that I had to work on or with or about professionally. For the most part, my, my, my career has been blessed with being able to just work with brilliant people on really cool technology right up to the present day. And do you know what else I have for you that you that I think you love? We have three games to watch. Oh, good! Yay! Let's watch some games. <laughs> yeah, that was a good bridge to the to good this segue. Part. Good segue. <laughs> yeah. So we have three games, and again, I'm going to show you them in reverse order. This time, I'm sure about this order, and uh, I try to make our faces visible. Okay, so all should be good as far as I tested this today. So are you ready for the first one? Yes, please. There is a, a bit of talking in. Are these, wait, pause it. <laughs> okay, this, this is- you, you, most... can, you can start it again. You can start it again, but I have a question. Uh, Do you know, are these actual games? Are these trailers that, for games? Uh, no, this, this, is, uh, this is recorded, but uh, we can jump to the menu or... Uh, or no, 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 that's like okay. That's okay. I the, don't mind that it's recorded. I just want to know, it, these, are not, these are not just demo of a game someone would like to do someday, but these are actual games? Uh, these are well, actual executables you can download and run on Atari Lynx. Okay, good. All because, right. Thanks. Because at Seal Adventure we don't accept uh, something that does not run on the real hardware. So Excellent. everything you are seeing uh, here today uh, has run on real Atari Lynx and uh, looked just like that. Okay. So we can continue because that was part of the video intro or something. Okay. And here comes the Atari actual game footage. Mm -hmm. He viewed as well. Thank you. 
<laughs> Not a very skilled player, I guess. <laughs> Didn't even make the high score. <laughs> now, let's see someone who knows how to play this game. I'm not sure about this. <laughs> not this person. <laughs> no, not definitely. Not a very good player at all. <laughs> but uh, if you were to comment of the game itself, <laughs> the game itself looks great. Oh, well done. Really beautiful. So much have so much animating at the same time. What an accomplishment. I didn't think I didn't think this many odd animating objects at once was possible. The puffs of smoke and everything adding such a wonderful little detail. Any thoughts? Wow, just gorgeous. Many more objects, so much more colors and animation than than I, I, I've seen happen on an, a you know a Lynx game. The the state of the art has advanced a lot to be able to pull off stuff like that. All right, hold it, hold it. You know what? I, I think it's going to be a little too noisy here. Um, uh, do, do you mind if I'm sitting somewhere else for the second nope, half? Of no the problem at all. Okay, okay, I think I need to move because it's well, we have a, a problem here that that they're going to have to deal with. And well, the dogs are enjoying it so much. <laughs> okay, hang on a second, please. I think they can sense your enthusiasm. Plus, you get now a um, brief walk through my house as I walk to a new location. So you get a quick view over my shoulder at, at my home as I move to a new location, which I'll be at soon. A little more private setting. Okay, let us proceed. Okay, so uh, so far we have seen the three demos and one game, and we have two games to go. And for this next one, we are going to invite you uh, to the silly venture <laughs> because we have a capture for you from the city venture itself. Okay, and so it's a screen capture with, uh, feel free to enjoy with the rest of the public because you will see and hear the real live capture of the game that had second place on the party. And But you are feel, feel free to have your own opinion, of course, and feel free to comment. So let's get started. Oh, okay. <laughs> that we never came to any, any other so today it will. Another? They do good work. Wow. 
I heard about this. So amazing. This is on the link? Exactly. And it works. <laughs> this is the link? Exactly. You made it. I'm I'm stunned. I'm speechless. How did they do this? This is a... I'm, I'm I'm spending half my time trying to figure out how they did it. <laughs> Guys, feel free to email RJ with technical details. <laughs> oh my god. What an accomplishment this is. <laughs> Look at this! How much how much game is in here? Do you know? Uh, oh my this, gosh! This was demo version, which uh, didn't feature specials and uh, only to uh, to play to uh, to characters. But I knew the guys were working on this game for the last years or so. So this is still in development, but you see the tech already. <laughs> so have, has anyone developed multiple cartridge games? I, I don't I, I don't know, but uh, you know with new developments, you pro if, if they needed more uh, cartridge space, they probably could make a new type of cartridge. Pause the game and say insert cartridge to Wow, this is unbelievable. What an accomplishment. I'm, I'm speechless. I wish we could see it better. Down in front. It's the creator of the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. The decoder. <laughs> and th that was the atmosphere on the party. <laughs> That was an amazing accomplishment. I am, again, surprised to hear that this is voted number two and that I get to see what number one is. That was an amazing, amazing thing. Yeah, the, wow. the new generation guys, they didn't get lucky with this <laughs> CD venture. But, I mean, you heard the audio track that came along with that. It wasn't just all that amazing graphics, but I'm, I'm stunned. I, 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 you know, I'd heard that Mortal Kombat was available, but I didn't know anything about that, that it was going to be like that. I can't wait and go and play this now. Is it is that available for sale? Do you know? Uh, 
I ha haven't seen it for sale, but the uh, demo party version from the DLC adventure, the exactly version you have seen right now, uh, is available. Because everything uh, released at CD Venture is available at, after the party two weeks max. So I, I, what I don't know is, um, I, you know, actually I do know where all my links is are right now because I'm in the middle of doing this remodeling job in my home, and so I have everything all localized. But what I don't have right now is the ability to develop link software. But I'll fix that soon because I want to go. And, I want to develop some link software again. Every time I see this, every time I see some of the wonderful creative things that people are doing like this, I'm inspired myself again to go off and play with this and to create and, and fun stuff. It was the whole point of inventing these things is to create, you know, magnificent places where programmers can have fun without a lot of stuff getting in their way. I want to go do that too now. <laughs> That's what the demo scene is about, having fun with fun stuff. <laughs> yeah, although, you know, the demo itself, just playing around with, you know, not worrying about a commercial success, but just an, an artistic success, a, 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 you know, an engineering success is is, you know, for, for demos is good enough. For a commercial product, you need to have it be fun too and fun is often a lot harder to achieve than visually stunning but fun games are also fun to make <sighs> you know it that's very true i have never known a really fun game where people didn't like it you know the people that were involved in the game loved the game and were happy to be doing it and wanted to be part of that project I've, every successful game i've ever known had that quality to it that the developing the game was not a pain in the ass so can next we, can we start with the last one number one number one and this is again some <laughs> random video from the internet uh, with someone okay I, I i need to find my mouse and make our faces visible again okay so this is first place silas adventure played by an unknown player This is an image from the card loader because over time so much card readers were developed that custom loaded. This one probably from the SD card. <laughs> Did anyone ever break the actual, you know, the, the actual code itself, the number itself? Some, seems like it's so such a trivial thing today that someone could bust it easily. I have no idea, but the new generation guys have some custom loader which works so maybe yeah. they did our whatever it found. is yeah. okay but we are now watching the intro and the many of the next game okay. see that's adventure hmm. jesus we tried our hearts out to be this good on the 3do look at this they're doing it on the links for crying my now this is just amazing from what I know, this was made by just uh, one guy. Wow. And some of the demos that we saw were 3D level demos. But these are textured walls. This is a real level, a real game level. So the 3D level that we saw in the demos had, um, you know, a lot of texture, had uh, features on the ceiling, features on the ground, had uh, different levels of ground, stairs going up and down. This doesn't have that. This just has the flat, the, the you know, two-dimensional 3D-ness. But exactly. that's what makes such a good game to have this kind of level. This is, you know, this is the original stuff. This is...
Oh, look! Oh, yay! And it, it has seemingly RPG elements in it, so you can level up your character and have some inventory. God, you know, it's it's like it's like early Wolfenstein. It's so good. I mean, really, we tried our hearts out on the 3DO. It, it, we did it in a big hurry, I'll admit. But but uh, Leo Schwab and his team put together a, a title that was good like this on on the 3DO, and we were real happy to have accomplished it. Look how gorgeous this is. Congratulations to the developers, or developer. If it is just one person, even better. One person for the art too, as far as you know? Yes. Wow, even better. This is old timey game development. This is... <sighs> nice, okay. Wow. You can enter the houses and there are shops inside. Wait, go back to that screen. Uh, oh, you're, you're, we're watching a video. Sorry. Uh, no, I can, I can, I can pause. Oh, you on. are playing. You are playing. Yeah. Yes. I am. I am playing the video and uh, that I have. Mm, but I missed the spot where he entered the screen. It was statistics screen. You can level up your Yeah, the statistics character. screen. I'd like to see this person. No, it, it's not the person. It's on the on one of the buttons ah. of the console. So you can enter inventory and uh, the statistics screen with uh, additional console buttons. That, that is a nifty we, feature. We can f try to find it in a while, but let's see the game. god mode Oh, okay. We have, we had, we had that. Just okay. <laughs> so can you can see the statistic screen? <laughs> Finally. So, and this is. Uh, th this is just what the game's providing. Yes. Yeah, it's just so nifty to see. Look how beautiful this looks. God, it's like, it's like. It's like professional software. <laughs> this makes me so happy, gosh. You know, it's, it's so much about the links. 
felt like a toy when we were developing it. It was not ever supposed to be anything. It never felt like something that was supposed to be as professional as this display makes our little baby look. This looks like, you know, it looks so grown up. Nice. Can I play? Yeah, please. Thank you. Sorry. Thank and, you. And the, here's another screen of the inventory. This one I've been watching. Yeah. Okay. So let's go. It's that other one. It's just a, you know, that peek into the status of things display. It's, oh, wait, wait, go back. So those are the dead bodies yeah. of the, the people you've killed before. They, they're yeah. bothering to do that in this game. Bravo. They are uh, everywhere. Okay, okay. This is number one. I got to agree. This is this is number one. This is the best. So, best game. so you have seen all the top three games from from the links. We had much more, but your vote would be. <laughs> for oh, your, I, that's, that's your personal top yes. three. That that that's the you, you, you I, I agree with the order that they were just shown to me. Yes, absolutely. Those the, that 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 first one, very beautiful. Love to see that many moving objects. Love to see that kind of excellent graphics. That kind of wonderful, in-depth interactivity like that. The and the, the crash scene was great. Crash scene made me happy. Great audio, and, but that second one was really, you know, a, a deeper game, a more profound experience. That that took it took what you can do with the links up a level and and you know deeper into the more profound engineering the more profound accomplishments that that i have seen people create over the last few years or the last decades but this last one is especially drives it home i mean <laughs> mortal kombat is amazing and for it to be that good and that beautiful the shame these two didn't come out in two different years so they didn't have to compete against each other because they're both so good but finally this the the interactive 3d quality the experience that it gives the attention to detail that the touch right at the end where i realized that the the developer has even bothered to keep the corpses around so you encounter them after you've played the level that's just beautiful stuff. I love that. And so, yep, totally concur. Place, uh, places, th third place, second place, and and the winner was this this wonderful last one I saw. What was the last one called? Uh, Silas Adventure. Silas Adventure. Silas Adventure. The winner is Silas Adventure. <laughs> and it it was very nice to hear your unbiased opinion because I have quite uh, full uh, with you a bit because you know yeah, we, ha we had uh, we had uh, uh, two prizes in this competition uh, two Atari Lynxes one for the demo open competition and second for the game competition that's why uh, all the best games competed because they could uh, have won this exactly this Yay. one because i made serious adventure you did yeah and and this yeah. is what i want <laughs> but i Yay. i didn't didn't want to uh, tell you this before not to make you biased in any way oh yeah <laughs> so the, this, this is my beloved prize for for the making the serious adventure on the silly venture <laughs> Oh, that is awesome. And I, I agree with the vote. And that's the best one. <laughs> Thanks. Well, Adam. Isn't, isn't that good news? That's delightful. <laughs> that's my, my, I, I, I always was uh, amazed since the Doom and Wolfenstein came out with the 3D graphics and it basically 
uh, cast light on my professional career <laughs> and uh, and some hobbies but make, making something 3d uh, and playable on every platform <laughs> I, I touched was is my personal uh, oh. dream <laughs> Well, what a what a happy thing! I just said all those really nice things directly to you, <laughs> without <laughs> without knowing I was doing it. <laughs> I I wanted to hear your fair opinion, so I didn't want to spoil this for you. Thank you. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but but I I didn't also miss to reveal this in the video, uh, and uh, you know since. You were making links, uh, uh, and do I, <laughs> I have one? Uh, uh, I can sh sh say one trick about Silas Adventure. You know that the entire scene in the Silas Adventure is drawn by just one call to Susie. It, it, the all, entire uh, scene is linked together. So <laughs> the CPU prepares an entire payload and uh, uh, links just uh, just draws in in one step. Oh my God, that is so cool! And if everything basically it stretches virtual uh, vertical slices of each texture, and uh, uh, it's so sort using linked lists. So basically, it starts drawing from the from back, and draws some columns which are at, at the back. Then it throws in some sprites in between, and uh, that's uh, that's why they are perfectly uh, occluded when something comes in front of them, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. uh, the vertical slices of walls are drawn, which are drawn drawn in front of them, are drawn just last. God, that's awesome. and wow. So clever, but personal. Oh, I'd, I'd love to see your code too. Is this <laughs> is this code public or is this you know? Uh, no, I, no, but but I can share it with you. No problem. Oh uh, yeah, I, I promise I would keep it confidential. I would <laughs> yeah. love yes, to see. But, it. but I would have to first uh, explain it to you because you know it's all in that my own language. <laughs> is it? It's written in your language. Yes, completely. <laughs> Of course, I would. I would guess nothing less, because it's so much faster for me to develop software this way. Yeah, and basically, for for eight big platforms, I w was always writing. <laughs> Since I started writing for these platforms, uh, after my child years, uh, it helps so much. Oh, so cool. God, well, KK, what a great meeting this has been. I'm really <laughs> delighted to meet you. What a what a happy thing. What a happy thing. <laughs> I hope you get some good material then out of this recording. Yes, to totally, totally. I, I, if it works just as good as yesterday, it should be all very, very uh, all fine. And I think that <laughs> since we are talking so quite uh, quite a bit of time, I think the guys will cut some interesting parts from from this interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm yeah, sure. Ju ju long. Just just for the intro, but I will try to convince Gray to make additional time slot to air uh, our entire conversation in full uh, to interested people just to. <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Sure, or put it online or something if anyone wants to bother. Yes, uh, I, I would uh, try to convince Gray to, well, he won't need much convincing, to to just uh, play play our uh, meeting uh, and the, at the party place on the big screen. Okay, but let me give the uh, video editors a little bit extra. Okay, ready? Okay. <laughs> RJ's pick is... Number one. RJ's pick is number two. Wait, wait. RJ's pick is number two. RJ's pick is number one. RJ's pick is number three. Okay, again, again, again. Ready? <clears throat> I, you might not be able to use this. This is just so you got it, okay? Yes, I, I'm not sure you know, organizers will. It doesn't matter. Just so you yeah. got it. Doesn't matter. Throw it away. It doesn't matter. RJ's pick is number three. 
RJ's pick is number two. RJ's pick is number one. Okay, fine. Oh, oh, RJ, it's it would me make so so many great memes if uh, Atari was mainstream today. Gonna try to figure out a way to go around the world and and let people know I'm coming, so I can get an invitation over to dinner. But I don't I don't want to go out to restaurants. I mean, there's gonna be some restaurants. There's gonna be some, you know, get together with people. We'll have a big, uh, you know, Amiga celebration or a big Link celebration, big dinner together, everyone getting together. All that'll be cool, and I'm looking forward to that too. But that's not what I want out of this trip. What I want out of this trip is for you to invite me over to your place for dinner and uh, and have a nice, you know, homey, quiet sort of dinner thing. And I'll, I'll, I'll bring my camera, I'm going to take pictures and I'm going to write a blog as as I go and no big deal, you know, not, not some big production number thing. I just want to come over to your place and have you make me a home cooked meal. That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> this This sounds great. Does that sound great? What a great thing. Definitely. <laughs> Because hardware is one thing and meeting with people is is something it wouldn't matter without. Yeah. Basically it's all right. it's all for people and enjoyment with it. <laughs> you know, that's what my whole life has been about. That's what my whole career has been about. It's all I ever really thought was ever really important in life is 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 myself being happy and making the people around me happy you succeeded mm -hmm. you definitely, yeah, definitely succeeded at this i try my little heart out <laughs> <laughs> but there's more to come there's more to come uh, I don't know exactly what's going to happen next, but I got some big things, the big irons in the fire right now, and I'm not sure how it's all going to break, but I've got a couple of really big ideas for what I ought to do next. And it's kind of thinking, you know, maybe I ought to retire and just relax and have fun for a while and not, not be working on professional stuff, but I've keep these ideas just keep coming. I can't stop it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. I'll keep going a little bit longer, maybe just a little bit longer. <laughs> as long as it's fun for you and you are enjoying it. Lots of fun. All right, I gotta run. I can hear my dogs barking and I gotta go take yeah. care of them. But I once, since our, we are here still, I have one question for you, personal. Have you, because you are a mega fan, Have you heard about the game, uh, the recent co game called Dread for the Amiga? No, no I haven't heard about it. <laughs> Dread, <laughs> like D-R-E-A-D, Dread? Yes, yes. Hang on, hang on, let me write it down. So I was talking about a game called Dread for, uh, developed for the Amiga uh, 500. Stock Amiga. This is Dread, D-R-E-A-D. -E yes. This looks familiar to me. Maybe you have heard about it. <laughs> And it's all uh, Amiga uh, 500, stock Amiga 500 expanded to one megabyte of RAM. I, I believe I saw pictures of this. This is called Dread? Exactly. Oh, goodness. My God. Okay, collisions are buggy in this version. <laughs> And again, not to fool, uh, fool with you this time, I, I made this. <laughs> With, with, yeah, with, with, <laughs> I was guessing. With, uh, That was already with, my guess. <laughs> with, with two friends of mine, which did the graphics, and we were using the BSD licensed Freedom graf graphics also, but most of the graphics are redone already, and I, I couldn't just miss the opportunity to show you this. What is this running on right now? Amiga 500. 500? 
500 stock 500 amiga uh, this is emulator but uh, the emulator is cycle right. accurate so it it plays just the same and yeah. uh, expanded to 100 one megabyte ram so it's half a meg uh, cheap ram and half a meg uh, slow ram <laughs> In the emulator, of course. <laughs> in, the, in the emulator, but but I have Amiga 500 lying around and it plays the same. Look at this, just so amazing. Oh no, I don't doubt you for a second. I'm <laughs> sure the emulator is good. I just love that the emulator is emulating slow RAM for you. <laughs> uh, so slow RAM is just the cheap RAM which chip didn't have access to, so it's... <laughs> Oh, you need health. You ignored the health. Uh, it's it's actually not my... Yeah, it was my playback, so... <laughs> but, you know, if you if you wish, I have also one... I can show you one more clip from the uh, most recent version, uh, which... Because I rewritten re the renderer in this, to be less limited <laughs> and uh, took liberty to remake uh, to remake uh, first level of doom with just without the sprites and, and gameplay yet because they don't support full 3d yeah right now so so it is how how it runs on amiga wow and i already ported it to atari st so <laughs> So you did this? Yes. Congratulations. My God, look at this. Wow. What's it going to take to get Duke Nukem? <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm slowly developing this one. Uh, but uh, uh, it could already support quite a bit more features than doom because for example i can i can uh, just make walls angled because you, you know i don't need to uh, floor texture wow oh look how beautiful this is Ugh. Amazing accomplishment. Wait, go look out the window again for a second. It's pre-recorded, so. Oh, it's pre-recorded. You can't, of course. I, I can. I can rewind. I want him to go look out the window again for a second. <laughs> oh, it was. It was there. <laughs> I just love seeing these clouds rolling by like that. Here, here's the one for you. <laughs> I, I paused the video. Okay, good. Can't really see the clouds moving. <laughs> yeah, but... yeah so cool that they look there it is. you can see it you get the sense of them rolling so good thank you for doing that <laughs> well basically it was my childhood dream to make doom for amiga when doom rolled out and basically every amiga owner was jealous of the pc and <laughs> and it spawned quite kind of a complex for the Amiga user that they don't have proper Doom, especially the low-end Amiga ones. <laughs> and this is, yeah. well, I, I didn't believe it was possible too, but <laughs> as, as I made uh, uh, something look like Wolfenstein and it rolled quite nicely and I, I Oh, myself, I wish Dave Needle could see this. I wish to. I would love. We got to show this to. I mean, do other um, have other Amiga people seen this? I mean, this. I have. I I have no idea. 
I'm running my own YouTube channel when where I show some stuff, but I'm so behind the, the stuff I made. I basically have three months of uncovered work on the YouTube channel, <laughs> and I, I'm focusing mostly on giving showing stuff to patrons on pa Patreon. Because, because they support me and because they support you yeah i'll come yeah. support you on patreon now <laughs> yeah just send me the link send me the information for that please okay if you, if you, I, I didn't want to uh, bother Too you late with... you just did <laughs> just send me the information please okay okay i can say, send you email okay it was oh i love supporting it, stuff like you doing working it, it on was... things like this it was and it was uh, it's basically the playable version has flat floors because i didn't implement correct uh, vertical collisions and sprite rendering but i'll get there and we eventually want to break from the doom universe and space and marines to get to go into uh, lovecraft and steampunk themes <laughs> because creating original stuff is so much more fun than, than copying so I'm looking forward to developing this project further. I just uh, had it online and I had to show uh, it to one of the Amiga original guys. <laughs> oh my God. But you know, one of the cool things is that after this quarantine is over, there's going to be a lot of, you know, conferences, Amiga conferences, Lynx conferences, Atari conferences, et cetera. And, We'll get to all get together again next year, and and uh, there'll be a, I'll have a chance to show people this because I know a lot of people that are looking forward to seeing this. So amazing! Really well done! Congratulations! Thanks a lot. I, I'll send the, your congratulations to our graphicians also. <laughs> so great! <laughs> Very nice. Well done. Thanks a lot. So, uh, do you want to say anything else or watch anything else or just do anything you would like or just say a few final words for the Silly Venture guys? Okay, I, I have to ask since we have a few minutes, can I see demo two again, please? <laughs> no problem at all. Because RJ says number one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Okay, but I just have to uh, find it again. Uh, okay. No time by new generation. No time. No time. And yet we still have time to watch it. <laughs> and yet <again>. here we are. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are having time to watch it the second time. Uh, show video panel to see our faces next to the video rolling because the guys will be seeing the video we are commenting with our faces next to it <laughs> so oh, cool. new generation no time another time <laughs> so cool look how beautiful that is i know it's a cheap effect but it really is impressive
<laughs> the weird graphic this is. Well done, well done. That defi- that was definitely the new school demo scene because one, 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 since in the old days demo scene was about making effects, uh, in current times it more and more progressed into making actual art. I'd like someone to reflect someday on how much of the demo work ended up actually being used in games where not maybe not directly the actual technology that was developed for demo work but the the things that the engineers learned and then went on to use in their careers uh, I'd, I'd be curious to hear stories about oh well, yeah the compression stuff i learned doing my demo work i ended up using on application x or y or whatever you know it'd be interesting to hear if there's has been practical size to this or has it been you know just for the art of it which is good enough just interesting to know if there's been more usefulness to it or if it's just been for our, our, our personal satisfaction of creating such cool things either way is good with me <laughs> in practical things right. Are right also <laughs> KK, this is great, but it's time for me to go. Exactly. So, few final words for the watching silly ventures. <clears throat> Hope you had as much fun as I did, and I highly recommend that you come again next year. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> it <Because> was great. <laughs> next year, I'll be there in person. Hopefully. I wish you best of the luck in realizing that decision. I promise. We hold our hands and thumbs and wish you best luck in your professional and personal career and in whatever future venture, however silly you, you take. You should look over this material. I don't know if, if you have a chance to speak together about these recordings, but if you want to try, you know, for another hour or so tomorrow, if, if you look at it and think you wish you had more of this or that, we could get back together. Just let me know, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, I, I probably might be busy <laughs> uh, and, another okay. day. And uh, Maybe some other day. Though. Okay. But the, the closer definitely... we get to Christmas, the harder it is. <laughs> to get my uh, attention. Definitely, I I will look, but I think this material was just perfect because it was real. Okay, good. So, right, so if everything recorded perfectly, we are all gold. Because it was so much fun for me and from what I've seen for you, even much more, that I, I can't find a better way anything could have gone better. Basically, it was so it, real yeah. and, and so. Congratulations fun. to everyone! Congratulations to everyone in the entire Lynx community that is still developing cool stuff for this system. It's stunning to me that after all of these years, people are still moving the needle forward with this, finding new and exotic and fantastic things to do with the hardware. Amazing to me and so heartwarming. I mean, it was, this is why we made the thing to give inspiration to people like you to goof around with it and to keep keep that dream alive and keep the creativity and the fun alive. Congrats to all of you. I'm so happy to uh, to have had a chance to brush up against you like this and keep going more. We want to see more. <laughs> we will see probably. I hope in in the. All right, from, I got to run. I got to go. They're definitely. waiting for me. Best of luck to you. And it was great, great pleasure to meet you and have fun watching all these videos with you. This is cool. Let's do it again sometime. Definitely. Next time I come to Poland, let's get together. Definitely. Definitely. All right. I'll be looking Bye. forward to it. Bye.